let us know about angles what is an angle what are the different types of angles and how do we name the angle let us learn with an example what is this figure shows yes it is a ray ray has got one initial point which we call it is origin we all know this if i am taking another ray from the same origin then the origin is common for both the rays when two rays have a common origin it forms an angle basically a distance that they form between them form an angle these two rays or sides of the angles are called arms of an angles common origin is called vertex of the angle here we have learnt about angle observe the two rays angle formed by rotation the one ray which rotates around its initial point when it rotates it have a different position at different times think about clock the clock hands show here different angles isn't it let us see measurement of an angle as you know the mass of an object is measured in kg the volume is measured in l and the length is measured in km these are different units to measure different things angles are measured in the units called degree we denote this unit as degree based on degree we classify angles into various categories when two arms are one upon the other there is no change in their original position in this position the angle between the arms is called a zero angle the measure of the zero angle is written as zero degree an angle greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree is called an acute angle an angle whose measure is exactly 90 degree is called a right angle this will be denoted by square angle between 90 degree and 180 degree is called obtuse angle an angle whose measure is exactly 180 degree is called a straight angle a reflex angle measures between 180 degree and 360 degree an angle measuring exactly 360 degree is called the complete angle or full angle to understand the types of angle we just need to understand one simple diagram we know this rays rotate its complete once it covers 360 degree all the different angles which lie between 0 degree and 360 degree are classified into types i am sure you must have understood types of angles now let us learn how to name these angles let us take an example in this figure a uh, this angle can be called angle prq the sign which looks like an acute angle we use to represent an angle while naming the angle we use from top to bottom which is prq or from the bottom to top which is qrp sometime we also represent angle as angle r the letter r used here is the vertex of the angle let us see one more example in this figure we have to name angle which is marked this angle here can be named angle mst or angle tsm if you look at the original figure now this angle 
cannot be written as angle S. Since this vertex S does not have just one angle. Here you can see the S is for vertex is for angle MST and is also for NST. So it is always better to write the name of the angle using the three letters. This one letter notation is to name the angle is convenient but it is not preferable. In this figure we have two angles angle MST and angle NST. Here we have understood about angles, what are the different types of angles and naming the angles. That's lot more in upcoming videos. Stay tuned.